It has been over 100 years since the greatest mind of the 20th century changed the course of humanity with a single earth-shattering theory. With it, Albert Einstein not only expanded our understanding of the universe, but fundamentally transformed our very notions of space and time. To mark this milestone, Genius 100 was created, a collection of visionaries tasked with furthering Einstein's legacy by using imagination and creativity to improve our world. Genius 100 Visions is the world's first 3D printed book, containing thoughts and predictions of the next century from some of the world's most preeminent thought leaders. With each of its 100 pages containing a single vision from each contributor. But as with all grand plans that set out to make a mark in this world, the road to success was anything but a straight path. I had a call from Canada they asked me to do a bust of Einstein, to give it to all sorts of visionaries to decorate it. Why don't we do instead a book? The page will be shaped like a portrait of Einstein. 100 visionaries, 100 page. We'll ask each visionary to do a page. I put the phone down. I thought, yeah, we can, we can 3D print it. When I heard about the design from Ron, I thought it was quite a, a rare opportunity as a, as a designer to work on. There's everything in there, really, you know, the, the sculpting, the, the modeling. I think the biggest surprise was that it worked. When I first saw the design of the book, I was somewhat shocked by it. This is an extremely ambitious project. Firstly, it's the scale of the book. I mean, it's 40 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters. And in 3D printing terms, that's a very large object. As the task of designing the book began in earnest, so did the gathering of the contributors. Leaders in the fields of science, art, literature, business, law, and more were contacted and invited to participate. Drafts of their unique perspective on the fast approaching future were collected and carefully incorporated into the book's design. It was during this process that the creators of Genius 100 secured a meeting with NASA. They had a request that again would become a world first, the printing of genius aboard the International Space Station. The pages can be turned by gravity. You know, gravity turns the pages. So what do we do after that? We take it to a space station to print the book in a space station where there's no gravity. You know, we're using this 3D printer for quite some time, but it's still a learning process. For instance, this is the prototype. We print like this, layer up, because it is a very complicated shape. Somehow it didn't work in space this time, and we ended up finally like this. So this space book definitely contributed to the advancement of the technology. While 3D printing at zero gravity has its own unique set of challenges, so too does creating 100 pages into the likeness of Einstein here on Earth. The raw material for this technology is powdered plastic, and then that's heated up to a temperature just below its melting point. This book is 4,000 slices, and all of those sections of slice data need to be sent to the machine. A very highly focused laser melts the plastic. Anything that the laser doesn't touch remains in powder form. It takes five days to print, but this object is worth waiting five days for. You then have to let it cool down for another two days, and then you need to go through the process of depowdering. So it's almost like a kind of archaeological revelation. So Albert inspired the production of this book, which is a milestone in, in 3D printing technology. So he's still influencing the development and the advancement of human understanding from beyond the grave, and that's wonderful. In the fall of 2017, a prototype of the book was revealed at a star-studded event in Montreal, Canada, coinciding with the centennial celebration of the publishing of Einstein's theory of relativity. Contributors spoke to their submissions and the impact of Einstein's ideals that continue to shape the future of humanity. What I'd like people to take from this is not just the interesting design process that we went through and the meticulous attention to detail and, and all those very focused design aspects of it, but 
the fact that this is a vehicle for for the authors, the visionaries that were involved, and and almost by by pulling back and and seeing it as a as a project in its entirety. As we await the release of the first edition in London, we collectively join the millions of global citizens that stand in awe of Einstein's legacy and the book that was a century in the making. <laughs>